Hello and welcome to my short video for my biology assessment. I want to apologise in advance for the noise in the background. These are just my fish tanks. I will be focusing on the endangerment of the Denison barb. The Denison barb is a beautiful freshwater fish that is in the Cyprinid family, which reaches up to lengths of 15 centimetres. This fish has many different common names such as the Roseline shark, Torpedo barb, Denison's flying fox, Red Lion barb and the Red Comet barb. Puntius denisii is the scientific name for this fish. The fish can easily be identified by the shape and coloration of its black line running down the length of its body and a bright red line running half the length of its body. These fish are shoaling fish. Shoaling means they swim loosely together. This characteristic is so that they are safer together. These fish inhabit the Manimala River in southern India. Here's a video showing exactly where about they originate from. As you can see here, this is southern India. This body of water running out to the west and up to the northeast is the Manamali River. As you can tell to the west, it runs straight out to the sea. Now I'm going to inform you on how exactly these fish are endangered. Here's a video of the Denison barbs in the wild. So you're not confused, these fish are the Denison barbs. And these fish are the filament barbs. Different species but are very close relatives to the Denison barb. The main reason these fish are endangered is due to the overfishing for the aquarium hobby the species population has decreased by over 70% since 2004. This fish was in such high demand because of its dominant coloration and streamlike body that gave it the swimming characteristics like a shark's. These fish are also hardy as they are used to quick water parameter and temperature changes as in the wet season, lots of colder, higher pH level water from stagnant freshwater rock pools runs down from the mountains and into the river. The fish keeping hobby's high demand led to the price of the fish being around 60 Australian dollars for full grown specimen. The overfishing was of no problem to India as the exportation of the fish brought them in a fair amount of money too. The price just kept increasing for these fish and now not only are they high demand but endangered too, which leads to a full grown specimen being anywhere between 150 to 200 Australian dollars. Now you might be thinking, why wouldn't they just breed these fish in captivity? Well for one, everyone wanted the fish as soon as possible at a good size and they had not been yet successfully bred in captivity in the first few years of it being big in the aquarium hobby as most larger cyprinids such as the bala shark are quite hard to breed as they need large tanks with lots of other fish of their own species and they were very hard to sex. Another reason why these fish are endangered is due to the building of housing and polluting water as you can see, there is a very high population of people living around the river and lots of used house water is flushed into the river. This raises the ammonia levels in the river and kills off a lot of the less hardy aquatic plants, therefore raising the nitrate levels to which is not only bad for the denison barbs but all fish living in the river. This problem has been going on for decades but only on a small scale to where not many people have taken any notice to the problem. Deforestation is another reason why these fish are struggling in the wild. Many people are clearing land around the river's banks for agricultural reasons and mining. When trees are cut down and taken from the river's banks, the roots that were once there holding the banks together die off or are taken out, and in a result of this, the banks are falling apart and eroding. The Denison Barb's preferred area for the river are its shallow banks along the sides. But due to this problem of the deforestation, the barbs are being pushed into deeper parts where there are more predators for this now vulnerable fish. The denison barbs are now less likely to reproduce due to them not feeling safe in their unfamiliar new habitat. This species is very important to the river's ecosystem. The fish for one are a food source to many animals. Examples consist of broadbills, warblers and cormorants, all birds that feast on smaller type fish. The fish also help feed the plants by their waste producing nutrients which is drawn through the roots of the plants and then the plants help the river's ecosystem by keeping the river clean, helping oxygenate the river and feeding many animals throughout the river. The Denison barb also shoals with other fish species of around the same size. 
This helps the other fish to making them feel safer in numbers, therefore helping the reproduction of the other fish too. There are many ways that these fish right now are being helped to get off the red list for endangered animal species. Many aquarists are using their own knowledge and talents to breed these fish in captivity and sell them off to aquariums, and as a result of this, less are being wild caught. I would suggest that there should be a large-scale breeding program for not only these fish, but many other endangered freshwater fish species. Once there is a suitable amount of the one species, they are taken out to their original habitat and released into a safe area where there are mass amounts of the other fish of the same species so that there is a larger chance of them reproducing. For a solution to keeping the river clean and pollution free is a hard one. The communities that live along the river are quite poor, but if there is a way to raise money for the plumbing for all the housing along the river, it would almost eliminate most pollution in the river. One way to raise money would be through the breeding program, if there was a breeding for profit side to it. The breeding for profit program could also raise awareness for this problem whilst helping grow the hobby. Thank you for listening and viewing my video. Hope this helped extend your knowledge on the Denison Barb, and I hope it helped raise awareness for not only the Denison Barb that is endangered, but other endangered freshwater species 